All right, so we have not, but this is, I think, the first time we're at to turn around and uh, because there's just too much water. So we started here. I was going to go all the way up here, and that would be maybe an hour, 20 minutes, hour, 20 minutes back, maybe hour and a half. But unfortunately, right around this road area here, there's a road there. Uh, there was just too much water. There was a bit of water along here. It was all passable. And then I remembered that is a pretty All right, so place. we're unfortunately having to turn around here because as far as the eye can see, it's all wet. It's wet. It's wet everywhere. So unfortunately, we'll have to come back another time. Tomorrow, it's going to rain maybe a little bit in the afternoon. It's going to be super cold. We'll go into that. I might go with my boots tomorrow. But unfortunately, we have to turn around here for now. The San Jacinto River, or the West Fork of it, is here. I did cross that once or twice before. Um, if there's a tree across it, it's doable. Oh boy, I have some branch that, you know, bruised up my, my leg. Anyways, so unfortunately, we have to turn around here and go back to where we are now. Um, but, you know, this looks like it could be one of those unmarked parking areas. There's a road there, too. So there might be a kind of little side thing. Now, there's an official trail here. You can see the sign, or trailhead. You can see signs. You can see the parking lot right here. So it was really wet there. And um, that's it. I mean, it's, it's an hour is good. We'll probably be able to go probably park here. We'll go south. We'll go uh, west if that's too wet. We'll see. And that's it. So that's all I can do. Anyway, so we'll have to come back to finish this uh, when it's wet. It's going to get a lot colder and wetter because it's, it's back to t-shirt weather, but it's going to get frigid. It's going to freeze overnight like in the teens. It's the, it's the first cold uh, day of the season. Genuinely cold. I think it's barely frozen overnight a few times. I had to take the potted plants in, but... Anyways, I think that's it, and um, we'll, uh, we'll do more little reports like this. Okay, now let me see, because we need the Google Maps. I don't know how to drive there. Uh-huh. Yes, right here. Um, nine miles. Okay, well... Well, like, I mean, we got an hour of walking, and I mean, we're already at 10,000, so let's shake our feet. You know, once, when it's going to get really cold overnight, we're probably going to leave the car in the garage, and then we can also clean it out. Yep. Yeah. And do our monthly, twice, two monthly uh, cleaning. You know, I haven't listened to anything. Do you want to listen to anything? No. At TXU Energy, we have plenty of more hours or so. You already know what I'm about to say. There has been a breakthrough in the infamous Colonial Parkway murders some 30 years later, thanks to DNA. See, back in our door, and another woman in the hatchback. Both women's throats had been slit beyond ear to ear, with some blood pooling beneath each one of them. And the woman in the trunk had been almost nearly decapitated. Oh my god. The rangers knew right away that they weren't equipped for this case, and Perfect. the same night the bodies were found, they called in the FBI. When the FBI arrived, they took photos of the back up to the road. We need the trail map the now. The case became even more perplexing. Inside the car, they found ID for two women. 27-year-old Kathleen Thomas was the woman found in the hatchback, and 21-year-old Rebecca Dusky was the woman in the back seat. Oh, this is still they recording. The they were oh, in, how wonderful. Seat, and inside was a mess. It was hard to make heads or tails of the crime scene because it was okay. basically tipped over, and everything is Well, I guess, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we can do here because this is still recording, so hold on. Let's see here. Hello! I guess we'll uh, put some stuff in here. I wanted to turn this off, but uh, I think I only turned the camera off. I listen to Crime Junkie and their crappy ads, you know. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, oh, we might as well. Hold on. So we are here. Um, the, you know, this is there's two roads here, but one of these. I mean, it's like. You know, you can see the log in there. No one's ever used this. You can park here. This is fine. Um, I think we can head this way, and then we'll we'll get back on the trail. We can go left. We can go south. 
uh, and then we can see what's going on. This is good. This is good. That was a very bumpy road. All right, so we're just headed back here to where I parked. And um, yeah, we did a lot of running and walking here. I think that's an airplane or a motorcycle here. Who knows? Anyways, those are frogs, but so let me use my little brush here. Uh, dump that. Okay, so we basically parked here and we went up all the way here to mile 57. So that's it. We didn't we didn't do all the way there. If if we started here, we probably could have made it all the way back to wherever that is. When I came back, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's an airplane. When I came back, I also went down here, you know, so and went back. So basically, this was another hour or so, a little more than an hour, maybe. And, uh, that's it. We did the uh, we did this little thing here and back. I think it, yeah we started there right. Yeah, Trailhead Nine. Again, it got wet. We already did that video. Uh, let me see here. So it's kind of tough to see here the map. But anyways, this is the end. What I'm interested in, since we did make it to about yeah to 57 here. I actually want to drive to this and see if next time we can park there. Most likely there's a shoulder like here, you know. We can most, I'm going to drive there. We're probably going to do a, a nice uh, drive there through here. Um, I was also hoping that we could maybe use this camping spot here. I mean, ugh, this is always terrible. Hold on. Um... I was hoping we could use, because we went to mile 59 here, right? And I thought, oh, well, we could maybe drive down here and maybe on the shoulder there we could park and then we could go back there. We could go back here to the river where we start. But right behind me, right here, it's a locked service road just like this one. So you can't really, use, I mean, you could walk there, but in terms of a car, you can't really cheat that way, so to speak. And you have to go back over the same thing, go further and go back. So that's just the, but that's fine. I mean, this, I walked as much as I wanted to today. It's just, it got kind of segmented and we, we couldn't, I, we couldn't make it to the river and back and, or maybe further. It doesn't matter, right? It's fine. Another excuse to come out. However, the problem with coming out is tomorrow we might actually come out it's gonna be 75 degrees breezy in the afternoon passing shower I can maybe weather that you know I don't know um, I'm even thinking maybe get out the big backpack and put some boots in it I have some below the knee kind of boots it's nothing too serious but it's it's worked before at uh, Lake Wilderness someone's just doing what circles over me See, that's annoying with airplanes. It's like people are like, oh, that's cool. Let me make noise in the middle of nowhere just for, ugh. But it's, it's gonna, there's a cold front coming in, as you can see, 57, 57's fine. The showers, I don't know how much is gonna rain. We'll check that on the day of tomorrow. If it's not raining much, that's fine. We can come out on Friday, but it's gonna be freezing overnight, which is still not an issue. But let's look at this nonsense. What? Oh, never mind. Okay, well, we actually could get a lot of walking done then because 6239 but then sunday 5526 that is really cold freeze and that's the first good freeze we've had or we will have and then on monday that's pipe bursting temperature now it it was 1515 yesterday that's a gunshot somewhere so it's they're revising it up 19 is good but it's gonna on monday it's gonna basically not just it's going to kind of maybe come back above freezing, which is even worse because that's the slippery roads where it's not quite frozen. That's really horrible for Houston. Nobody knows how to drive here anyways. I remember when it was the big freeze, um, when it was sleet and the power went out in some places for days. I remember I just didn't use the car for three or four days. The pool was closed. I had enough food. The power came back on. 
you know. But um, it's and then it's going to be 26 overnight. Still, 40 is still too cold. I'm not coming out here. 48, probably not. 57 a Thursday is is right. So we we can kind of schedule. I really want to come out tomorrow because it's going to be warm enough. And uh, if I bring boots and an umbrella. I have a big umbrella, but with the trails here, you can't even open it. Ugh. I have a poncho. I don't know. I, I do, I've do. i worn that once before. I don't know. I do want to come out because I don't like it cold and wet, but it's warm and a little bit wet. That's doable. You know, I'm not exactly some let's hike through the whole thing and no, no, no. Let's, let's come out here where it's sunny, warm, convenient to me. And, and today was great because right as I was leaving, uh, Left Bozo's leaf blower uh, guy showed up. The guy who takes about literally two or three hours to finish the two or three yards he does there. And it's on and off leaf blowers for two to three hours. And I think he did buy a new leaf blower that's not as loud as the old one, but it's just unbearable. It's, you know, you're out here and okay, there's a couple of gunshots and asshole in an airplane or two, but it's like, oh my God, I need to like live out somewhere here, you know, you know, like all things equal, I have no purpose in life and everything sucks, but at least it's not obnoxiously loud all the fucking time. At least I'm not on total edge about uh, that, but. You know, we've discussed that before. It's it's kind of hard to find a property that's big enough, that's blah, but we've done that, but I'm not doing that today. There's nothing here. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There were actually a couple properties that there's some properties here and there, but again, it's those you have half an acre and then you're next to the, the, the village hoarder who's just absolutely atrocious. Like, you don't want that, you know? You know, there could be some oil wells here, actually. Like over, isn't that an oil well or something? I, I've seen an oil well here on one of the trails. I'll have to do that. We're not going to be going on that road anytime soon, especially FM. Not, no, we're not doing that ever. Um, but this is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. We will now drive. We will drive to here. I will see what the hell is going on here. Because whenever they have these coordinates, that means something. Okay, FS2022. Anyways, I'm going to probably just record that. That's kind of fun. Um, I'd rather record it on the uh, map or the uh, full camera. You know, I'll get to see the map myself. So anyways, that's it for now. Hopefully we can turn this off this time. All right, so we're recording. I can see the map. You can't see the map. And that's all very good. You know. Whee! So the road here, as we kind of could see from the uh, accidental recording, was pretty bumpy, or at least you could hear it and me whining about it. But yeah, it is just to like drive around these potholes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, what is it? Two point eight miles? Three miles on this road? All right. Well, this this road's a little better here. I can kind of feel it. It doesn't have too many potholes. Until you go over it. Well, that's just some stuff. We can go about 30 here, which I think is the speed limit anyways. Oh, boy. You know what? This is right. Well, there's still enough light here, so... Oh, boy. Oh, plot hole. This is kind of fun. I mean, this is as much off-roading as my, well, it's it's an unpaved road, so technically it's, it's, it is on-roading, but this is as much as the Cilantro can take, so a gravel road, really. fun trip. I mean, it's, it's just, it gets wet. So I'm thinking, yeah, tomorrow I do have a big backpack. I've used that for planes and stuff because you can use it as carry-on. Although half the time,
time they're like, put it in the, uh, check it in for free. It's like, okay, well. Okay, okay, what's here? Oh, is this a campground here? I don't have my Maprica map with me. You know what, let's go in here. We still have 2.181 miles left. I just wanna see what's here. I think this is the hunting camp or something. There's some trailers here. Down, uh, is this the uh, Sam Houston National Forest Wildlife Management Area? Um, there's a trailer there. Uh, ew. I think we should probably turn around. Yeah, there's a trailer there with some, some uh, Okay, well, I kind of want to head out of here. I think this is a hunting camp. They might have just come here. I don't, I don't know if we can see it. Hold on, let me. If if we need to bolt. All right, let me move my map over. You can see stuff like that. And. Uh, This is the hunting camp, but apart from that, and it seems like there's a fixed structure there, like there's a camper trailer, whatever thing that you could tow, but it looked like there was like a house there too. I don't know. Maybe you could rent that out. I don't know. Google Maps for me is not, it's, it's all green and like a blue line for go ahead, but there's no other indication that there's anything there. There's a big hole. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll come with my big backpack, boots, maybe some rain. Is it, you know, I'll take a, yeah, I'll, yeah. It's 75, I mean, that's, I, it's, I, it was 65 today and I was in shorts the whole time. I had to put my jacket on, but other than that, Especially with the cold coming up, I kind of want to be out because it'll be a few days where it's just going to be too gross to come out, so. There's a service road there that's locked. Okay. 1.6 miles, okay. Oh my God, let's see, is this too? No, this is good. I hope it's not too loud, but. Nice air coming in. All right. Apart from that that camper thing, I haven't seen a single person here. Uh, when I first started, I saw some people coming back. There's one car in the parking lot. That's it. So even though it's a pretty nice day, nobody's really out. So. Oh boy. This, is, this has been okay here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. This has been okay. And then, yeah. And I'm going less than 30 here. You cannot see these until you fucking hit them. Good Lord. It's all over the... Okay, I can see these over here. And we can avoid them. And some of these ruts are... Okay. That's... That's the belt whistling. I think every time some water goes on it, especially when it's kind of cooler, it just makes that noise. And on startup, and, and, and. Anyways, we're a mile away, so that's pretty good. It's getting more gravelly here, going about 20. thinking even if it's like really cold but not too slippery and cold and frozen on the roads it would be fun to just kind of drive through the forest like this you know on these more deserted roads that are open but you know you can just drive on 10 miles down this way you know So 
we have 0 0.6 miles, half a mile here, to get to the road here. And yeah, I mean, like if it's if it's like anything like this, you can pull over anywhere. But you know, not a huge mystery here. Uh oh, what is this? It's a locked road. That's not locked. Huh. Now I can't. Well, let me see here. This. I don't know if it's locked. It looks like you can park here, but it's pretty dark, but I don't, I think this is just a little parking spot here. So anybody can, that's too big to go over with, I think any car to be quite honest, but. Anyways, let's back out here. Back on the main road. Yeah, then that part's locked, so. Okay. I think we can, that's not too, yeah, that's better. We can see me a little better and I can see the, this thing. There's gonna be another service road on the right here. I think that's probably close too. Is it closed? That is like there's nothing there. There's trees. Is that? I don't think that's the trail. Is it the trail? Because you'd see some signs if it was the trail. Okay. 0 0.1 mile. Okay, that wasn't the tire. Good. And yeah, this is it. Now, where the hell is the trail? Okay, here's the trail. Okay, this is, yeah, I mean, this is like a, a yeah, I mean, this is an intersection here. Let's just get out and see what's happening here. Let me clear the map for a second. And uh, we don't even need to take the keys out. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty good. You have another road here you can go on. We'll probably go home this way. But the trail is right over here. You can see the, the sign somewhere there. So that's basically it. This is what we sort of came to. I think this is mile 57. This road's a little better, or it's a different color. No, this is gravel. It's a little better than this one, but so yeah, this is it. This is Hiker Trail, Lone Star Trail, big section. So yeah, we go this way to 57, we come back, and then I don't know. Oh, I think this is the country road trail that we don't care for. Okay, but we can go there and back, and then we'll finish that section. I think this goes, yeah, and then we can even maybe go try to go down the river from here and go back one day. So yeah, this is a good place to park because there's shoulder, there's, there's lots of shoulder to park on. This is perfectly fine. And uh, I guess that's it. So, you know, that was fun. And uh, yeah, that's it.